Welcome to GitHub Universe. It has been an incredible year. Every day, we come to work to build the best developer experiences in the world for you. But then we're lucky enough that we get to use them too. And so whether it's a really big, innovative new product like GitHub Copilot or GitHub Codespaces, or whether it's just making the things that you use every day a little bit better, that's why we're here. And because we use GitHub to build GitHub, we're living it too. And so that's what we want to show you today. Let's settle in, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's see what the GitHub crew's been up to. Code spaces are instant on, customizable, container-based development environments in the cloud. Codespaces is a major leap forward in developer productivity, and I'm so excited to show it to you. But to really show you how powerful Codespaces are, I'll need some help. Let me message Corey real quick and see if he's able to help out. Hey, Corey, do you have a second chat about the demo? Hey, April. Uh, did you get my message? Uh-huh. Oh, OK. So I was thinking the best way to demo Codespaces is if we do it together. And I can show the slow, old way of doing things. Perfect. Perfect. All right, well, I'm going to hop into the GitHub repository here. And then I'm going to get clone our repository. <sighs> this is going to take a little bit. I've got 11 gigabytes of content here and over a million commits. Well, why don't we just jump straight into Codespace? I think it's a great idea. Awesome. OK, this is a Codespace running GitHub.com. My team uses a pre-configured environment specific to GitHub.com. And it all starts with this file, the dev container located at the root of the repository. It's config as code that drives code space customization. So when any team member creates a code space, they benefit from a base image, minimum VM requirements, shared VS code extensions, automatically forwarded ports, and more. But we all have our own unique preferences. So code space also allows me to customize my environment to fit my exact needs. My github.files repo gives me my tmux bindings. And setting sync installs my favorite extensions and ensures that I'm always in dark mode. We're looking at github.com, running in my code space in the cloud, and the fan on my local computer is quiet. And with one small change, reload the page, and this becomes where you build software. Starting today, I can securely share access to ports in my code space with members of my organization. Now I can quickly share my code space, get fast feedback, and collaborate with my team. And personally, while I use VS Code a lot, some of my team are Vim and Emacs users and prefer interacting with the command line. We've now integrated the GitHub CLI, so they can start their day by managing their code spaces directly from the terminal and start a new SSH session, picking right where they left off. Wait, direct SSH access? When my team needs to start a new feature, it doesn't matter what device they use. They connect to a machine with 32 cores and 64 gigs of RAM. With Codespaces, we sped up our development interloop, and now you can too. Codespaces is available for teams and organizations right now. And in case you missed it, we introduced a web editor for everyone. Just visit any repo and hit the dot key. Software developers push millions of commits to GitHub every single day. We built GitHub Codespaces to go from zero to coding really quickly. But what if you need some extra help along the way? That's where GitHub Copilot comes in, our AI pair programmer built to give suggestions to finish lines of code or even entire functions, all within your editor. When we first opened the technical preview in July, we started off with the most popular editor, Visual Studio Code. We are working on expanding support to Visual Studio, Vim, and IntelliJ. Here, let me show you. So here I'm using Copilot in PyCharm and working on a Python project. You can see as I start a new function, Copilot shows me a suggestion to complete my function. And it's exactly what I needed. Since we started, 30% of all code written by early adopters come from Copilot suggestions. Whoa. Copilot works best with Python, JavaScript, TypeScript, Ruby, and Go. And we're also going to support languages I don't even know how to write. We're going to expand the technical preview so we can get more feedback from all of you. If you already signed up for the waitlist, keep an eye on your inbox. Now let's see if I can start writing some of these tests. We all need a way to plan our work. 
track issues, and talk about the things we build. Our answer to this universal question is GitHub issues, and it's built into every repository. Let's dive in. It always starts with an idea. We open an issue for it and break down the work with task lists. Now that we have the breakdown, you can see that the issue generates a progress indicator at the top. If we mark an item as completed, the progress indicator automatically updates. Not only that, you can convert any of the task list items into issues, creating a work hierarchy to help you keep context. Then as you complete work, the hierarchy automatically updates for you. How sweet is that? Sometimes we need to plan and track a bigger body of work. That's why we have improved projects to give you a live canvas to filter, sort, group issues, and pull requests. Octo Arcade wants to launch a new game, Octo Arcade Invaders. Choo, choo, choo. Let's track it with a new project. This starts you with a spreadsheet-like canvas optimized for information density and customization. Next, we add custom fields for each area. There are five core field types, text, number, date, single select, and iteration. I'll use them, so I'll add an area, single select, releases, and also customize the status field. I'll enter the work for the prototype as draft items and convert them into issues, very similar to how we did it in task lists. Then fill out the rest of the metadata. This is looking great. Now fast forward, uh, more work has been done, and I can start customizing views for a specific perspective. Let's name the first one scope and group them by our releases. So I'm going to hit Command K and GBR, and now is grouped by releases. Next, I'm creating a second view for our standup, a board that includes some of these custom fields, same data, just a different visualization. In the third view, we will filter to the core game areas. Lots of power on the filters that we have included. Things like is, so I could actually look for an issue or a pull request, empty fields, and even exclusion. We also want to set up a couple of workflows to make our lives easier. Let's make this items close, set the status to done, and this is looking great. This is just the beginning. We can't wait for you to try the new GitHub issues, and I mean that literally. Starting today is available to everyone. No more waiting. There's no sign up required, so go ahead and check it out. How was that? Was that good? Okay, perfect. Get out of here now. I gotta get back to building. Whoa! I was just checking out those new GitHub issues features. Anyway. At GitHub, we want to make sure that every developer has what they need to succeed at any scale. We just launched Enterprise Server 3.2, which contained more than 70 brand new features. That includes powerful new continuous deployment features provided by our automation platform, GitHub Actions. Our new workflow visualizer gives you the ability to target jobs to environments. And you can now deploy to staging and then production, all with one workflow. You can even require approvals before making deployments. Finally, administrators can securely manage the secrets for every environment directly from within GitHub so your dev teams can deploy changes quickly but without needing access to your production secrets. But what about your company's other secrets, tokens and credentials? Leak credentials are one of the most commonly exploited application security risks. GitHub Secret Scanning scans all of your code to find them before you deploy. And now, in Enterprise Server 3.2, you can scan for your own company's credentials using custom patterns. Yes! Those are secret scanning patterns you define, in addition to more than 100 token patterns from cloud and service providers that we include automatically. Now, let's talk about code scanning, our semantic analysis engine that keeps vulnerabilities out of your code. We've added new severity labels and search tools to make it easier to focus on the most important vulnerabilities to you and your team. And we've recently added support for scanning Ruby as well. But we know that finding these vulnerabilities isn't enough. For the first time, security teams can get a single view of their security posture across all of their projects in an organization with the new security overview page. We've also made it easy for security teams to audit and investigate threats to their GitHub environment using their preferred tools by streaming their audit logs to a security event management system. With support for both Azure Event Hubs and Splunk, 
Audit log streaming means you'll never lose an important event again. Altogether, these features mean you should spend less time worrying about security and more time building secure software. Building software today is so much more than just the source code. That's why we're working alongside creator communities and maintainers to build tools for all parts of this process. Take GitHub discussions. We've worked with maintainers to improve the product, and now we have some new features to power up your communities. Let's start with discussions labels. With discussions labels, maintainers can now keep their spaces organized. Here, you can see that the Gatsby community is using labels to denote topic, status, and which Gatsby release the discussion falls under. When you're following a forum thread, it can be hard to keep up with what you've already read versus what you haven't read yet. This happens to me all the time. But with this new discussions feature, you can jump immediately to new comments you haven't read yet. You can also see unread replies to keep up with the latest. And this next one is one I'm super excited about. Later this year, we'll be lighting up discussion polls. Creating a poll is simple to get started. Polls will help maintainers aggregate feedback from their community and base product decisions on that feedback, ultimately allowing them to feel closer to the thoughts and opinions of their communities. That poll is fake. Everyone likes key lime pie. And not only will maintainers be able to poll their communities, we're making it easier to give credit to all contributors with releases for your projects. After creating the release and adding the tags, maintainers can now generate automatic release notes with details of all the PRs merged into that branch and give shout outs to the contributors. Maintainers do all of this for you. So don't forget to support your favorite open source projects and maintainers by sponsoring them with GitHub sponsors. Here, let me just do that right now. The world of software runs on open source and our goal is to empower creator communities to collaborate together and do their best work yet. It's not just the biggest or most groundbreaking features that make life better as a developer, but also all the little things that affect daily tasks. Since the last universe, we've shipped more than 20,000 improvements to GitHub, releasing multiple times every day. We made it easier to navigate large markdown files by adding a table of contents. And we added buttons to copy code blocks directly from readmes. And you can now easily copy the raw contents of a file. We added a fetch button to the repo page for forks, which makes it so much simpler to stay up to date with changes in upstream open source projects. Pull requests are one of the most important workflows in the day-to-day -day work as a developer. Earlier this year, we enabled auto merge, which means you can now tell GitHub to automatically merge changes as soon as the code has been reviewed and all the automated checks have been passed. If you work on a large team with a very busy repo with hundreds of pull requests, you will love what we're shipping next, Merge Queue. With Merge Queue, pull requests can be batched together and the result is fully tested and checked against the default branch before merging. So if you have two or more pull requests that can change dependent code, you can now check that your tests pass on each of them and all of them combined. No more broken builds after the merge. How cool is that? You know, these little things on their own, they're small. But when you add them all up, they really make a big difference. <sighs> the last feature I want to show you is the new GitHub command palette. You know how you can hit a shortcut in your editor to quickly open files or execute comments? We're adding the same to GitHub. Hit Command K if you're on a Mac, or Control K on Linux or Windows anywhere in the GitHub web interface, and you will bring up the command palette. You can jump between your organizations and repositories, easily navigate to any file, issue, pull request, and discussions, or to execute commands, all without taking your fingers off the keyboard. At GitHub, the developer is at the center of everything we do. 
Our focus every day is to incorporate the powerful innovations shaping the future of software development into a single, seamless developer experience that works for you. We believe deeply in the power of developers to create a better future through the software they build. So whether you're an open source contributor, you work at a company, you're a student just getting started, or you're a cryptonaut navigating the metaverse, keep learning and keep building amazing things. We'll handle the rest. Thanks for joining us and take care.